this week on The Net, the French company that's making smartphones more user-friendly for the visually impaired. With the focus being on touch screens nowadays, blind and visually impaired people are often cast aside when it comes to developing smartphones. Keen to remedy this, one French startup decided to update the keyboard design. Made of silicone, it facilitates the handling of Samsung touch screens with the adapted software feature. We went to meet Dominique, she's visually impaired and has just started using this 100% French technology. So here's a telephone. I can't use it like this. It has the voice activation feature, but there's no way I can find my way around it. So I bought this phone, which comes with a case that gives me points of reference, helps me find my bearings. And it also comes with a Telerion software, which has been designed specifically and means I can browse through my phone quite easily. Make a call, find the messaging service, send and receive emails, find the help section. So I can use it simply as a telephone, but it also means I have access to all the other services most people now have on their mobile phones. With her new keyboard and the voice features, Dominique now has access to a digital world most take for granted. So here's my emails, Marmiton, for example. It also has a selection of newspapers. There's L'Express, L'Equipe and Le Monde. So I can find out what's happening in the news. And like regular smartphones, there's also a web browser. It means we can live remarkably like sighted people. The developers of the technology have also designed other features to help visually impaired people go about their day-to-day -day activities. Dominique can use her smartphone to help her read her mail and any printed page with an optical character recognition and text-to-speech app. She also has help in identifying colours and a GPS device to quite simply guide her around. All sorts of other apps are currently being developed and should be available by the end of the year. We want to make it the ideal companion for the blind and visually impaired, and so we still have new functions to add. The first thing is Braille. Not very many blind people actually read Braille, only about 10%, but there are still tools available, like this one, the Braille displays, which transposes everything that's written on the screen directly into Braille. The second thing is paper money recognition. This is something that's an ongoing and daily ordeal for blind people. So basically, we want to have an object recognition device. And then with this object recognition, we press, we point it towards our note. And here I locate the QR code. I point the telephone towards it. I launch the application, a box of mint tea, there we go. I can identify everyday items without having to actually see them. 